What's up, what's up everybody? Chris Record here and welcome to day eight of the 90 day Ecom challenge. Today we're gonna talk about setting up Facebook fan pages. And while this may not seem like an exciting topic, this is something that you must understand in order to be successful with Facebook advertising at all or even to be successful with uh, organic traffic, free traffic from Facebook. So we're gonna hit this from all kinds of different angles. We're gonna spend some time right now. We're gonna dial this one in. So I just went live in the group. Let's go on over to the Facebook 90 day Ecom challenge group. Hopefully you guys are in here. Let me just make sure the post is live and just say yes and yes if you can see me and hear me quite well. People are just now starting to jump on. I'll keep this open in another tab. Okay. So uh, let's get going. So 90 day Ecom challenge day eight, setting up Facebook fan pages. Um, I wanna just kinda come in here and start doing some notes and be able to kinda start to help you. So um, let's just dive into it. So uh, first things first, Facebook fan pages are free to set up. Let me make this screen bigger for you guys so you can all see a little bit better. Facebook fan pages are free to set up. So, um, that means you get some practice. Facebook fan pages are free to set up, so um, you know, take some time and set some up, even if you never end up using them. Okay, practice is great. I've set up well over 100 plus fan pages, and the experience has been awesome. Okay, they're free. Okay, so don't even worry that much. Okay, now let's get into some general protocol. Um, here are some general concepts about Facebook fan pages. And we're just gonna dive into some kind of some bullet points of some of my thoughts um, from you know years of working with this. So here's some general concepts about Facebook fan pages. Um, you should have one fan page per major niche that you are in, okay? Um, for example, if you have a general store um, that looks like this, and let's say that your general store um, has, you know, let's just say, uh, I'm going to give like four or five niches you might have. Let's say that your general store has, um, let's say, kitchen products. Let's say it has cat furniture, and let's say it has man cave, um, you know, man cave gear, okay? And let's say it also has like camping products. And then it has um, just a, a whole bunch, a whole bunch of related, of random, a whole bunch of random items, okay? In this scenario, what I, uh, in this scenario, you have two good options for building fan pages, okay? Option number one, build five unique fan pages. Fan page one, kitchen niche. Fan page two, cat niche. Fan page three, man cave niche. Fan page four, camping niche. Fan page five, general store. Whatever your general store is, okay, general niche. Okay, now, this is an example. Now, let me actually say you have three good options because there's also a couple other options that come to mind. Okay, so now let's go into option number two. Option two, build five unique Let's say build five unique fan pages in your specific niches. This one here, build five unique fan pages in um, broader niches, okay? Same thing, so fan page one might be, instead of the kitchen niche, you might go, you might go bigger. It might be some type of um, you know, cooking or it might be some type of like um, healthy living or a home niche, something more broad. Fan page two might be, instead of the cat niche, it might be pet niche, you know, it might be pets, 
or animals in general. Fan page three. Instead of man cave niche, it might be something like men's, uh, you know, men's gear. Maybe it's something along the lines of um, interior design, or maybe it's in, in, a remodeling or do-it-yourself niche, something like that. Fan page four. Instead of camping, it might be like outdoor niche or survival or um, you know something something like that. And then fan page five. general page for everything else okay so now let's go to option three option three build one massive fan page for all your posts okay so fan page one would be general niche fan page for everything okay so look at look at kind of three options here now there might be some hybrid options you know I'm only gonna be able to do so much um, but let's like let's look at this, okay? So, option one. Um, option one: build five unique fan pages, okay? So notice notice one one common. Uh, let's talk about this right here in the notes. One common uh, theme of all these options is that you can always have a general fan page for when you aren't sure where to post about your products. For example, if your store is called, um, let's say if your store is called um, zany bargains.com, then your fan page could be called zany bargains online or something like that. Let's say Zany Bargains Online because that would probably be more available. Okay. For example, if your store is called Zany Bargains Online, then your fan page could be called Zany Bargains Online and you could post all or even just some of your random products on that fan page. Okay. But if you are diving into a few specific niches with categories on your store or if your entire store is in a specific niche then it's better and let me put this all caps better to have a specific fan page that is directly targeted to that niche audience of people they will respond better to that now let me put in some notes note this will not affect your Facebook pixel tracking, okay? So if you are using a Facebook pixel on your store to track conversions, then this will not affect it in any negative way. Even though you have several different fan pages, your pixel is connected to your ads account not to those specific pages so so you can create as many fan pages as you want for free if they are free and you can laser target your audience then why not do it? And that's kind of my that's kind of my main thing. I wanted to start with. If they're free and you can laser target your audience, then why then why not do it? Um, let's see what all these things here. Yes and yes and yes. Yes yes yes. People are commenting. Um, Abdesalam Ab, Abdesalam says fan page is not important to get buyers. The audience, the ads, interest scaling. Page is needed only to launch to get some engagement. People need to know how to choose an audience, how to scale. Um, so. I don't have the ability to reply until after the thing, but this is not actually true. So let's talk about that. Um, question. Is a fan page important to helping you get sales? The answer? Of course it is. 
Okay, there, it, it's it would be silly to think that it's not helpful. Okay, um, now let me let me phrase this a little better though. Okay, question: Is a niche fan page required in order to place Facebook ads? Answer: Yes, it is. Is a fan page not niche? Okay. Is a fan page required? Okay. So question. Does a niche specific fan page convert better than a general page? Answer, sometimes. Okay? So let's let's try to cover let's try to cover that. Okay. Um if your fan page doesn't have much content on it and doesn't have many likes on it, then a niche specific fan page will often convert far better than a general fan page. If your, and let's put general. If your general fan page does have a ton of likes on it, then that social proof may help create more conversions. But even this is questionable. Since most of you are beginners, my advice is to create some niche specific fan pages to run your ads from and to set them up in the most basic way to focus on converting more sales and more customers from from your hard from your you know your your paying you know from your hard earned money that you are spending on advertising right you're spending money on advertising you might as well convert right think about it if you are spending money on ads you might as well convert as much as possible okay that's that's it, right? If you're spending money on if you're spending money on ads, you might as well convert as much as possible, just in very in very basic terms, right? So that's kind of what I wanted to to kind of cover here. So let's walk through some basics of setting up fan pages that can convert sales. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, so number one. Uh, fan page, um, and let's maybe put this in all caps. Fan page setup basics. Okay, um, and let's go. Let's go through this right now. Fan page, set, fan page setup basics. Okay, so go on and review real quick before I dive into this. Fan pages are free to set up. So because they're free to set up, get some practice. You know, and, and I want this quote to stand out here. I've set up well over. 100 plus fan pages, okay? And I've given you basically an example of what you can do with your, your stuff. Option one, you can build a unique fan page for each niche you're trying to sell something to. Or number two, build a more broad fan page but still in the niches. Or number three, don't even worry about it. Just build one fan page. Um, let me kind of put this here. Um, this option is good if you are building a brand and you want brand recognition to your name, logo, etc. Okay, so this is good if you're building a, a brand. Okay, that's a really good kind of concept. Okay, Facebook fan page setup basics. Okay, here's some basics. Okay, create a new fan page. Choose the option for website as the category. Add a profile picture. You can tell I've done this a bunch of times, right? Because I already know it all memorized. Add a profile picture for the page. Add a cover photo for the page. Um, and then add a few basic posts to give the page value very fast. Don't spend a lot of time there. Okay? Then that page is ready to post ads from. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. Now, what I like to do 
I like to start by looking at other fan pages to get ideas, okay? And the other thing I like to do is I like to kind of look and see what kind of content. So let's look at, add a few basic posts. What I like to add is some picture posts. Um, memes and quotes work well. Um, I like to add a, uh, you know, some link posts. Blog articles and news works well. I like to add, um, when possible, I like to upload videos, but usually that's like too much time, so don't even worry about it. So I like to do pictures, I like to do links, um, I like to share um, like YouTube videos, links directly to videos, and um, I'm going to start there. Okay, so let's go through this Facebook fan page, basic setup right now, and let's walk through some. Okay, you guys enjoying this so far? Let me know if you guys are enjoying this. Oh, here, he's, he's clarifying his point here. My point is the most important is to concentrate your effort to create a fan page with your brand, name of your store, and get your page. Let me just copy this question here because I, I think there's, a, de I think there's a, de a debate here that I, I don't necessarily completely agree with. Um, let me go back up. Let's go down here to these questions on the bottom. Okay, um, member question. Um, a member is making a point that the most important okay a member is making a point that the most important thing is to concentrate your effort to create a fan page with your brand name of your store and get your page bigger and bigger when you run ads I like your option three because I do a lot of page in the dog niche and has a great but it doesn't give a good result the option three work fine for me okay so again obviously this is a uh, member opinion okay now let's go into um, that's a member opinion let's go into to my opinion my opinion my opinion is when you are a beginner don't focus any effort on your brand at all this is a money sucking waste of time and you don't even really know if you are going to to keep the store or not. Heck, you don't even know if you are still going to be going to uh, going to be doing Shopify a year from now. All that matters is converting sales, getting profit, and staying motivated to stay in the game. Don't focus on branding until you have proven that you can make sales from your store, okay? Okay, so in the beginning, focus on tasks that are better for converting sales, not better for branding. Don't get carried away. Don't spend uh, time on fancy logos or great domain names or anything related to a brand. Focus, okay, all caps, focus all your efforts on finding good products, good audiences, and running high converting ads that are profitable. Niche Facebook fan pages can offer help to convert your customers much better, which is why I suggest them for beginners, okay? That's, that's my point. Now that's, that's my opinion. They're both just opinions, okay? They're both opinions. This one is not wrong at all. Okay, at the end, this member's saying, hey, option, option three works fine for me. Awesome for this member. They found a solution that works well for them, okay? So they want to focus on branding. Okay, now let me put, let me put a disclaimer here on this. Um, disclaimer. There are times when you, when you do want to focus on branding, okay? 
as a beginner. Let's give some examples. For example, um, you plan on building and flipping the store before you even make any sales. In this case, you aren't focused on ads and a high converting sales, but rather you are focused on making a very good looking site that someone else would be interested in purchasing from you. Okay, So that's one example if you're planning on building and flipping the store before you even make any sales. <clears throat> okay, another example is if is if um, example if you are really good at branding and it comes easily and naturally to you so it doesn't suck a lot of time, energy and resources from you. In which case, if it's fast to do, then why not do it? My point is that for 99% of you, this will take time away from your income producing activities. So there are some, look, there's gonna be some examples, okay? Since there's gonna be some examples, you just gotta roll with, you just gotta roll with what's good for you. Now, um, there are gonna be some times, um, you know, let's, let's say in this case, you aren't focused on high converting, um, or, or even in this case, or like if you do want to focus on branding and you want to sell, or your main focus is to s sell the store after you get some revenues, in which case branding will be something that a potential buyer, uh, a potential investor will look for in a store. Okay, so basically, in a nutshell, the one time where you really might want to focus on good branding is if you plan on flipping the store to an investor, either before you get sales or after you get sales. But my point is you could always do that later. You know, um, My advice is that you can always improve the branding later. So why not just have less things to do as a beginner and focus on things that will convert more visitors into buyers, okay? That's really, that's why I wanna do this multiple fan page thing. So, let's go back up here. Fan page, basic setups, okay? Let's put this in another font color, um, that way I can make it stand out from everything else that's on this page, okay? Create a new fan page, choose the option for website as a category, add a profile picture for the page, add a cover photo, add a few basic posts, and then it's ready to start posting ads from it. Like I said, I like to start by looking at other fan pages to get ideas. So um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go back. Um, I wonder if I lost that link. I probably lost that link, let's see. Um, yeah, I probably lost the link. Let me see if I can find the link really quick. In the background hall, I'm gonna give a link and I'm gonna share it in the group. Um, and this link could be helpful. Okay, let me copy this link and share it. Okay, so here's a link. I'm gonna copy this link um, in the group. I like to start looking at if I fan pages got ideas. Use this link to get ideas from successful fan pages or use these links. Okay, let's look at these. There's a link um, and let's do another one instead of Teespring. I'll explain what these are. Um, let's do another one that's like um, my Shopify. Dot com. Okay, let's start with these two. Okay, use these links to get ideas from successful fan pages. This one here does a search on Facebook for fan pages that are promoting Teespring products, print on demand products. And this one here does a search for pro uh, fan pages on Facebook that are selling Shopify products. So this is a really good um, search mechanism to be able to help you. So let's go ahead and look at this. Let's go visit this, this link here. Okay, so this is the My Shopify um, link. And what it does is it just brings in, um, let me explain what you're looking at, okay? It's gonna bring in 
people who are sharing photos and videos and stuff from fan pages, ideas for fan pages. So in this case right here, this, this picture, it, it was posted by this fan page, Retired and Living the Good Life. And it said, were you born in April? Don't let this deal pass you down. $15.99 down from $22.99 and it links to their Shopify store, get it today. So this page promoted this picture with this link, okay? This person, Kathy Phelps, shared it. So the reason I like this search is this search is gonna pull up a bunch of results of people that are sharing, members that are sharing content. To me, this is better. I don't wanna just go to random pages and random stuff. I wanna to go to stuff that's being shared a lot. Okay, I wanna look like what content is being viral enough that it's getting shared a lot. And you can click on it and then you can see how many shares. This one here has 299 shares, okay? I, I found that just by clicking on it. See, Kathy Phelps is just one person that has shared it. But when I click on it, I can see she's one of 299 people that have shared this. And then you can look at the comments. I love it, very true, whatever. So first things first, the very first thing that came up for me is a little bit of re reverse engineering where I can, first of all, I can see what kind of post she made. Now look at this. She's got, um, the page is called Retired and Living the Good Life. The background photo is, represents the good life. So this is a good match. This photo matches retiring and living the good life. And if you look at the images here of these people, these look like they're targeting um, older women. So retired, okay, they're targeting people who are retired. People are put, p posting um, older women. Look at all their, all their images here are like older women. Um, looks like probably, you know, 60s and above even, okay? retired and living the good life. So what they're doing is they're targeting older women who are retired, never underestimate an old woman. So they got the retired, they've got the good life, and they've got the old woman. So this is an example of, of what to do right. Now, that doesn't mean it will convert and it doesn't mean it will make sales, but just this alone, the very first image we look at, we look that they have a fan page that is very targeted to their product. This fan page is targeting towards women. Okay, look, the, the elements in the background represent the good life. The elements of the, um, of the audience, old women, represent old women, and the retired represents the old woman de demographic, and then, there's a, and then this is targeting women who are born in April. So you can target women over a certain age are born in a certain month. So this is a pretty good concept, okay? It does not mean they're gonna make a lot of money from it, but generally speaking, if you see a lot of engagement on something, um, it might be working. Especially if you see a lot of this, if this said 29,000 shares, then you know it's working because they wouldn't have run ads that long. So the more, the more engagement you see, the more likely it is that the thing is working. So right off the bat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this and I'm going to open this link in a new tab. I'm going to go to their fan page and we're going to look at their fan page here. Okay. And we're going to kind of, we're going to take a glance at it and we're going to see maybe what we can learn from it. Okay. They don't have a cover photo, which is fine. They don't require one. This picture right here is not good. This picture is, they've done a poor job on their profile picture, okay? This profile picture looks good when it's broad like that, but look, it's gonna put it in a square. This profile picture, sh you have a square. That's, that's what's gonna show up next to your ad, right? So for example, um, this right here, Kathy Phelps shared this, and then, but when you actually go to the actual post, like we went to, this, is the, this profile picture right here is what people are gonna see. They're gonna see this name and this profile picture. So it's important, when we go back, create a new fan page, um, and that's basically a name, okay? And uh, so let's go in, let's go uh, name. Okay, let me, let me go in, in categories, these even better. Okay, name, category, profile picture, cover photo, content, advertising. Okay, that, that should help out a little bit more with understanding that. So for their name, they do a good job, retired and living the good life. For their category, I don't know what category they chose. For their profile picture, they're not doing a good job. This, this profile picture is not good. They could do a way better job. For their cover photo, they don't have one. And this is uh, optional. Okay, I have many pages that don't have one too, but it's just so easy to do, why not do it, you know? Uh, for their content, let's look at their content now. As we scroll down, let's see, there's that post right there, 299 shares, okay, they got content. Here is a profile picture, 
and that's and it looks like that's it. So they don't have any content on this page. Okay, so in this example, they have no content. They made they have one post. All they're doing is they created a page. They're running a post now. That's okay. That's okay, but um, I personally, I wouldn't do that. Another thing is I personally wouldn't allow visitors to post like this because what good is it to have somebody say no thanks? You know, it just doesn't make sense to me. I, I wouldn't have that. I would, I would, what I would do if I were them is I would take one extra minute, add a better picture, add a cover photo, add a few more posts. Literally, less than 10 minutes, they can convert better with this. This, I'm telling you guys right now, I know enough about business that this, having a better picture here will not hurt conversions. It will not, now look, if they just went to Google, and this is just the first one we're looking at, we're gonna look at a few. If they just went to Google and they typed in retired good life, okay, the name of their page, and they literally just went to images, okay, I'm sure there's something way better here. Now, of course, you don't wanna use images that have copyright stuff on them, but I'm sure something like this right here, this basic picture, is way better. This little picture right here is way better than the one that they have, okay? It's got two people who look like they're retired and enjoying the good life, and it's a very basic picture. So you just grab that picture and you throw it on your, uh, you throw it on your, your profile right here, okay? Now, I'm not gonna get into like copyright infringing stuff like that. Obviously, there's places, you can obviously go look for copyright stuff, but I've never heard of an instance where somebody said, you know, don't use that picture. Now, I wouldn't, let me, give you, let me give you some obvious pictures not to use. I wouldn't use like, for example, the name of, the name of my company's Techademics. I wouldn't use a corporate logo. You know, if I've got a picture for like outdoor fitness people, I'm not gonna use, you know, a Nike logo as my cover photo. I'm not gonna use a trademark or registered, in, I'm not gonna use a copyright infringing brand on there, but I'm gonna look for some, some basic pictures. And there's plenty of royalty free Images. There's just plenty of them. You can go. You can go. The web is filled with royalty-free images. Okay, over 920,000 free stock art images. You may use them anything you like. These are free images. You're just using them for a free pan, fan page. So you literally can use any one of these sites. Okay, look. It's just like Google Images. You know, you can find um, you know something like this. You just put in categories. You know, retired and happy or something like that. And you just put in stuff, and you can find some people. You know, who are retired and happy. You know, something that, you know, or maybe it's mostly focusing on women. So retired woman, you know, and there you go. You know, even something as simple as like, something as simple as that, you know. So you, you can even go like, uh, um, retired on beach, okay. So you can go and you can find maybe a good image here. So there's tons of them, right. So um, beach chairs. Maybe there's some people in beach chairs like you looked at, okay? There's all kinds of ideas what you could do for the good life. You could even just type in good life. So whether you go to Google Images or not, is my point is there's so much, there's so much stuff out there, you can definitely go around and find something, okay? Royalty-free images exist. It's not that difficult. So going back here, I think that they did okay. They could have done a little bit better. Now, um, and here, uh, I'll put this in case some of you are asking about that. Um, Okay, I put Pixabay there if you're looking for something. Google Images, Google Images, and let me just put very clear. Don't use trademarked logos or brands, okay? That's just one of the big ones. Don't use trademarked logos or brands. Okay, let's keep going. No reason to slow down. So we've, we've talked about that page. We've looked at them. We think they could do a better job with a little bit more content, a little bit better. Okay, let's scroll down. This, this page here doesn't even have a picture or anything like that, so we don't even know. This is just somebody sharing it. Again, we're looking for people sharing photos, okay? So look, here's a photo. Um, nothing really there. This person here is posting. This means that this person is posting to this group. You're not really looking for stuff like that. You're not looking for people that are posting. You're looking for people that are sharing something viral. Okay, Wanell shared. You're looking for this word shared. And you can even do a site search. Okay, let me, let me show you a little advanced technique. You, do, you click on that link that I gave you. You open up a whole bunch of stuff. You just keep loading more results. Load, 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 load all these results. Yes, loading more results. You just keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Um, somebody's spamming a bunch of that page. You just keep scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Don't even worry about what it's saying. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Maybe take a few minutes and just scroll down. Okay. 
and then and then after you've scrolled down all the way, you can go up to the top and you can actually do a search, do, um, a site search, you know, um, command F and I could do uh, on most computers, whatever, and I could do the word shared, okay? I just did a site search for the word shared and it shows that there are 11 um, in instances of the word shared. So this helps me, I can just down, I can click down and instantly find, okay, when El Hall comes shared, it highlights it now, shared anything Rebels photos. And what I like to do when I see if they shared something, I like to click on it and I like to see how many shares there are, 91. Okay, and then you can go look at this and then you just pop open that anything Rebel. I'll come back to that. Okay, let me go down to the next shared item. The same thing we just looked at. Um, another, another share from anything Rebel. And this person's so excited. Oh, F me, they're cussing. Oh, F me, I, I want this so bad, right? So they're targeting a group of people that want this kind of rebellious, you know, obviously controversial, rebellious lighters. They, they like this. People like this kind of stuff, okay? Um, and you can do it for any niche. Um, shared, little Bo Peep's photo. My little tuna, I just know it's a girl. This is so cute, we're gonna need all of them. So, and you click on this, and you can see um, 10,000 shares of this. So now you know this page is doing it right, okay? So we're gonna open that up in a new tab. Now look, we just found something using this search that has 10,000 shares. So if something has 10,000 shares, we can learn a little bit from this, right? So let's come back to that, um, and let's keep going, okay? Um, this one's, this is just a question about Shopify. Again, Little Bo Peep, share. Um, Nancy Bridger shared Dream Catches photo. No shipping, buy now while supplies last. Um, let's click this. Three shares, I'm not interested. It's got no activity, so I'm just not interested. That's not enough for me. Um, shared a link, I don't want somebody sharing a link. Uh, shared a link, I don't want somebody sharing a link. And shared anything Rebels photo again. Okay, so just like that, and if I, if I would have scrolled down even further, I could find more. But the good news is, in a basic search, I was able to come across two fan pages. One is this Anything Rebel page. Let's look at this one, Confederate Lives Matter. They, these guys are targeting the Confederate niche. Now, here's the crazy thing, is that whether or not you even agree with the Confederate niche is irrelevant, irrelevant, okay? That's kind of like saying that like, Let's say I found something that was a pro Donald Trump niche or an anti Donald Trump niche. The thing is, they both work. The point is, you're going to find something people are, are controversial about, you know, um, and you just market to it. Now, obviously, if you're passionate about it, it's going to help because you're going to understand the niche more. But this page here has, you're going to look at it, it has 32,000 people. Let's just look at each one of these pages. Let's look at Little Bo Peep and let's look at Anything Rebel as two fan pages, real quick. Okay, they have a much better use of a profile picture. This will help convert a lot more. See, their audience is going to resonate with these, with these stars and this type, these, these type of stars and stripes flag, Confederate flag. So they're going to advertise to an audience of people that like Confederate stuff, and they're going to convert better than if this was just a general store. If this was Bob's Superstore, and you had a, and you had a, a, a product you were selling on Confederate lives, I'm oh, sorry, on Confederate anything, Confederate flag, Confederate product, protect the Second Amendment, it wouldn't work as well. But by, by targeting people that are um, interested in the Confederate flag, have an interest in that, you're gonna convert them better because what's gonna happen is your post is gonna show up with a Confederate flag. Look, it's gonna, every single post they do is gonna show up with a Confederate flag and the word anything rebel. So that's really helpful. They are getting the branding benefit of that, but at the same time, they're also getting the, um, this profile picture is going to help convert sales for them, okay? So, because it's their audience, okay? Just like if you were targeting cat owners, a cat profile picture is part of the ad. This is part of the ad is what they see here. It's gonna be better if it has a cat in it, okay? Um, and I think, that's a, I think that's an example, profile picture worth walk, uh, walking around. Okay, so for example, if your site sells dog products and cat products, you might, and let's look at this. You might build one fan page for cats, build one fan page, actually for, uh, not cats, but for dog owners, one cat page for cat owners, okay? Use a profile picture of a cat, and this one, use a profile picture of a dog, 
Okay? That's an example right there because they're going to see that. Use a profile picture and use a name that has to do with cats. And over here, use a page name, put page name, that has to do with dogs. Okay? So, because what's going to happen is when people see your product, like this thing here, anything Rebel or whatever, when they see this post, okay, they're going to see your page name and your um, profile picture. So these are part of the ad. So since those things are part of the ad, they are important to converting ads. If I'm going to tell you how to make good ads, you got to know how to do it from your fan page level. So if we look at this page, they're doing a good job here. They've got a good cover photo. They've got, a, and again, it doesn't matter if you agree or disagree with the Confederate flag. It's really irrelevant. You got to get out of your own way and realize that there's profit out there. You can find something you're passionate about. This could be scrapbooking, you know, and it would be the same thing. Okay, so um, they've got a 100% response rate. They reply instantly. This helps give them a good, um, good posture. It helps give them good posture. They've got a lot of likes. This helps give them social proof. So let's, let's do this. Um, let's do uh, bonus points for a good fan page, okay? Um, fast response rate adds credibility to your page. And um, lots of fans adds social proof to your page. And then let's say optional perks for a good fan page. Okay, these are optional. Now, a lot of times you don't need this unless you're selling. So don't worry so much about that. Those are things you can do a little bit later. So they do a good job here. Let's look at content, okay? Um, let's look what they're doing. Right here, they're posting blog articles, okay? Blog posts. Do we have that in our content? You know, link posts, blog articles, yep. So they're posting blog posts. Okay, let's keep going. Um, this is a picture, okay? Are they, are, do we say post picture posts? Yep. So already they got blog posts, they got picture posts. Here's a picture, po okay, this is a meme. If you're a damn proud redneck, give me a hell yeah. And that's a meme. Look at this, um, memes work well. See, I got you covered, you guys. I know how to do this, you guys are in good hands. <clears throat> this is a product post. Did I put product post in here? I guess I said that's advertising, but let's just say product post could go here in content as well. Um, Mix these up so they aren't every single post, okay? Like they just did right there, okay? So they got a product post there, a belt with a Confederate flag on it. You guys, great, great idea here, by the way. Great idea, great niche product. Uh, they're likely just drop shipping it. Okay, another product here, going to their store. Um, another product here, Rebel Flags. And I think they're getting too many products going right now on their fan page. But then here we got, um, sure, they have a link, but they got a picture, that's good. Now they got a picture. So they're mixing it up. So you're starting to see what they're doing here, right? Another picture. Um, this is going to their, straight to their store. This one here is another picture. Uh, this one here is a meme. This is, a, um, this is kind of like a, a quote, okay? So I put um, quotes work well. That's kind of like a quote. Those work well. Here's a, here's a, a meme or quote, okay? Uh, and we keep kind of going. You can kind of get you kind of get to learn about their page a little bit. Okay, cool. Now here's another article. Okay, you kind of get the idea, right? They're posting some products, some articles, stuff like that. Okay, we've done enough searching, and they've done a pretty good job. Let's close down um, anything rebel. Let's close this down. Okay, now let's go to Little Bo Peep. Okay, Little Bo Peep has a. Uh, I think that this is a nice graphic for two reasons. One is. The imaging on their site is this really soft kind of Easter feeling design. You'll notice the colors. So they're doing this really soft design. I think that that works well to have a soft, at least it's a square and it fits there in the square. They've done that right. And it has their address. I don't think a lot of people are going to see that, but oh well, they have it. Um, shop here, they've got it advertised. So they've got a nice, beautiful cover art with a nice little shop here. You guys can grab a stock photo and put your own little thing. Okay. Um, 450,000 likes. So they have this, this page right here has a really good name, Little Bo Peep. I don't know their category. They got a really good profile picture. They got a really good cover photo. We're going to look at content. Um, but they have a really, they have lots of fans. They have a lot of social proof. Okay. Let's scroll down and let's look at their content. Okay. 
Content. The perfect Easter outfit ships right away. Many colors to choose from. Okay, so that's a, that's a picture. Okay, that's kind of like a, it's not really a product post because they're just going straight to their um, homepage. So what these people are, what they're doing here, this is actually a picture post and they're just saying, hey, just go straight to the homepage. Okay, here's another picture post. Just go straight to the homepage. Um, let's see what we got here. Here's a picture post, but this one goes straight to the flash sale. Okay, let's go down. Flash sale, this one goes straight to the, this goes straight to the product. You can see flower petals. So now we have an actual straight to product post. Okay, um, this one here, hold on. This one here has a straight to product post. You can see swaddle blanket. So these people are doing a lot of posting, you guys. A lot of posting. Buy two, get eight free. They're doing a lot of products. They, I think they could be doing a better job by mixing it up, but at least their pictures are really nice. But they're not getting a lot of engagement for how many fans they have. And that's because all they're doing is they're just posting too much. They're posting too much products. So they're kind of going overboard. These are, these are fine if you're gonna advertise them, but you should mix up some free value posts, some stuff that people wanna share. You know, so everything here is a product post basically. And it's just, it's just a little too overwhelming when everything's a product post. Um, I would not do this, okay? I, I, would, I would mix it up. Okay, so that's looking at their stuff. They've got a little bit too much um, going on there. But you could see some of the, they get some good engagement on some. And then this is probably advertised. When you see like suddenly, when you see a post is doing like 64 likes on average and then suddenly this one does 7,000, chances are they advertise this one. Now, if they were advertising this one, I don't think it's a good idea to advertise with your store homepage. Don't do this. Do this on your organic posts, that's fine. Organic posts, feel free, drop a link into your, to your store. But I think this is overkill. Every single post is just all about selling. Um, it's just overkill. Now, that doesn't mean they're not successful, but they could be more successful, is what I'm saying, okay? This is kind of cute, these cute babies work. Um, okay, so you kind of reverse engineered. You're looking at what they do, right? Now, here's this one post here, 59,000 likes, 10,000 shares. We came down and found this one. Like if you love these darling rompers, which one is your favorite? On sale for only $12.99 and take an extra 10% off your whole order when you share. Shop here, Little Bo Peep. So let's, let's go ahead and let's see. They got a lot of engagement on this, so let's see. These little Indian print rompers. So now you can see their store. Um, they got a little um, special offer, 10%. So what they did was they made it seem like you can get 10% off when you share. But then when you click, that 10% item is going to come up anyways. So that's what they're saying there. Share on Facebook and save. Click here to get an extra. And they've got this little share on Facebook thing and they can give you an extra 10%. So they have this share on, um, they have this share on Facebook thing uh, to get an extra 10%. That's a pretty cool little thing they have. Okay, so you can see they basically have um, Little Bo Peep. They got all their categories. They got everything. Here's this product. They obviously are doing pretty well with this. That's how they were able to get, um, uh, what was it, like 10,000 shares. So they're able to get 10,000 shares. So what they probably are doing is they're probably, they might even be cross-targeting Indian related um, terms. So they might be targeting moms. Um, I, I don't know. Well, it could be anything, right? Um, but they're probably gonna be targeting, so they found some kind of thing. I might be, it might target moms and then do like, Moms who are interested in like moccasin related um, terms, mom who, moms who are interested in like bow fringe stuff. I mean, there might be some words. There might even be some brands that moms are interested in. They probably nailed it. They probably, they probably found a way to be able to target um, women who are interested in buying, moms who are interested in buying this kind of stuff for their kids. So they probably figured out, you know, some interests and stuff like that and they killed it. So something like this here, you know, they're selling it for twelve ninety nine um, plus shipping. Okay, so there you go. We're reverse engineering. Okay, so that's what I like to do. I just gave you a couple examples of.